All right, what you're looking at is uh, IBM VGA BIOS fonts in pass to js Canvas. Now, you may be thinking, what reason would anybody want to do this? And uh, I basically want my programs to look like 320 by 200 DOS EGA or VGA. And uh, one of the things I was missing so far was the, uh, the classic VGA font. So as you can see, I've managed to do it. So I'm going to go over how I did it. You might find it useful. You may not, you may think I'm wasting my time, but um, so in the previous video, I showed you how I was able to link um, PCX files using the uh, resource option with the uh, dollar sign R value here. So I was able to attach a couple of images and show that, and I thought about it and I could basically attach any kind of uh, file and so one of the things I did was uh, try and see if I could attach um, the uh, VGA font file and I did and after writing some code it didn't really take all that long and if you look at this code right here it uses the uh, previous uh, uh, unit I wrote to access the uh, resource files so this is a short unit also 72 lines this one also less than 100 lines and it basically loads up the uh, the VGA font information into an array here and we can print either a single character or a string of characters and uh, I'll just show you the uh, the file that I used we do a directory here So I've renamed this to I, IBM font VGA dot bin, but the actual file name, um, I got this off GitHub. Let me bring that up. So here's a link here. I'll put it in the video description, but the font I used, and if you wanted to download any other ones as well, this should work as long as the fonts are eight by eight. But even if they're not 8 by 8 a few modifications to the uh, code, you can make it work. Um, so it should be this file right here. So I downloaded this file. I just simply renamed it. There we go. It's downloaded a double. Let's uh, cancel that. And... Uh, if you include it right here whatever the file name is it'll create a resource file uh, so this is the the name of my main file here game.pass and my main html file but if you compile this and let's do that you can see right here the uh, second line from the bottom uh, writing game-res.html file and if we look in there, it includes all the uh, all the files we listed in the main program here. So all these files right here are being generated in this file right here. What we have to do is make a copy and insert them here. I already have it, but let's just pretend there was nothing here and you just simply paste them in here. So as long as they're in your main file here, uh, where you load your actual script, I've also modified the script here a little bit, but even with the uh, just the rtl.run, it should also work. And if we save that, and let's go to my test browser here, let's just refresh, it still works. Let me change the color so that you can actually see that the changes I'm making are actually working. So let's just change this to 11 here. That'll give us a, a different color. And if we refresh, 
there we get a, a cyan color, I believe that is, or a bluish color. And uh, let me go back and change a few more things. So I will comment this part out and just uh, simply we can print a line of text. And if, if I refresh this, well, I should set the uh, the color I want. Uh, let's try that again. Refresh, and here we go. We got it uh, printed in red. Let's try, I believe this is green. Let's try printing green. If you're wondering why I'm moving around like this all the time, is the webcam is actually in front of my monitor where my taskbar is, and it constantly blocks the icon I'm looking for. There we go, green. Okay. Let's mix it up with some images. I will uncomment this. And uh, this is one of the other files we're including in the uh, resources. So let's compile it again, just to show that everything can work together. I believe I'm clearing the screen right after I load the image. So let's do that again. And hopefully this time, come on. Okay, there we go. So this is one of the images we're including. Let me change it to another. So you could load up multiple images. So we have circ and test two. Let me change that to test two. And there we go. So um, I hope you found this interesting. I'll probably expand the code a little bit or clean it up a bit more, and it should be on my GitHub soon. I just wanted to show this off because I had some time and I was able to work on it. Let me know what you think.